Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And, um, so we're going to be talking about, um, this whole Yodoichi, um, controversy, I guess. Um, so I was actually at a Halloween party when this whole thing went down yesterday. Um, so I haven't even seen the episode at the time of this recording. So, that's why I'm making a separate video because I really don't want to talk about this in the Bleach review episode whenever I do get to it and I watch it and I do review it. Um, but in Aries and uh, Win Lee, um, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, so, an Aries um, who is the voice actor... Um, she's done a lot of various voice actors. She's done tremendous work in My Hero Academia and Attack on Titans, just to name some of the bigger titles. Um, she uh, was casted last week, or it was announced that she was going to be uh, Yoroichi um, for the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War English dub. Uh, which, you know, because Yoroichi just came back. This is the first, she wasn't in the first part of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. So she just came back last episode. Um and now apparently, spoiler alert, um in this week's episode, which I haven't seen yet by the way, um the only reason why I know about this is because it blew up on social media. And uh when I was at my Halloween party, my Halloween costume party, um go on my phone for a brief second kind of regret it now um then again it probably was better to know it now than know it later i guess um but apparently uh you know because people that i follow or are in chains like in the whole twitter thing and whatever um we're talking about it and so i seen like someone like yay yeah you know uh when lee's back um and uh, I was really, it's kind of weird because I was really caught off guard by it because I don't think this has ever happened before um, that somebody got recasted within a week of being announced as the character, um, as a character in a dub. Um, so really upset about that. Cause I don't like seeing people, uh, lose a job, um, for something that was really Viz Media's fault. Cause look at this, but let it be known. I, I blame Viz Media a hundred percent for this, that this was Viz, this was on Viz, this was Viz and, um, I think there should have been more transparent. I feel bad for both the actors involved because it's not their fault. I mean, this was a this was a Viz decision, and Viz decided to, um, I guess, uh, go back on that after a week. After a week, and again, like. When they originally announced that there was going to be a new actor playing Yodoichi, was I was I upset? Yeah, I was. Because obviously I you know, liked Win Lee as the as the character and you know, I grew up with her as the character. So from that sense I, I was upset, but at the same time I didn't think the new actor, I mean, even though I could tell that it was different, I I would say it was a probably it was it was very close to Win Lee's performance. I mean I mean it was not the same, but it was uh, you could tell she was doing her best to try and do it as closely as she could. Um but I mean, me being more experienced when it comes to, to, to knowing voice acting and I've taken classes on it and I, I know how to do the stuff. Um, I have a little knowledge on voice acting. It was probably easier from my perspective to kind of tell better than people that 
don't really kind of do this. Um, so, in terms of her losing the role after a week, I don't think it was warranted at all. Um, you know, um, like I said, I'm I'm happy that when Lee is back, but if you are going to see, here's the thing: two things should have happened. Two things should have happened here. Either one, Viz Media should have uh, let Winley come back right from the beginning as the character. Um, or B, they should have been more upfront with Winley uh, and been like, look, we're going to recast you. Um, we're going in a different direction. And that should have been the end of it. And then she could have, you know, gone out and basically just told everyone, hey, look, the uh, they want to go in a different direction and uh, there will be someone else being vo uh, voicing the character. You know, that's how it should have been handled. Not this, we're going to cast a new actor and then we're just going to then a week later because of whatever happened behind the scenes or if it was because of social media outcry um that's not a reason really i don't think for um a person to lose a role that way um so and again i i get it i mean like i said i'm with a lot of the people that were like you know that wanted uh you know when Lee, uh, when Lee back because you know she's been the character for so long she's made a synonymous with uh, the Yodoichi, you know. Um, so I get it, you know. But I get the business side of it as well, and obviously there was something going on. And again, it, it's more on Viz Media. I mean, like, the, anybody who's watching this, please do not go after these actors for it. It, it, it was not their fault. It was not an Aries' fault. It was not Win Lee's fault. Okay? It was none of their faults to what happened. They did nothing wrong in the situation. None of them did anything wrong in the situation. It is not, none of this was their fault. This was Viz Media or whoever's decision was. Viz Media or the casting or whoever, whoever decided to do all this from the beginning, they all should be ashamed of themselves. And we know Viz Media is never going to like come out and say, "Yeah, we screwed up." They're never gonna. They're never gonna say. They're never gonna like be like, "Hey, you know, this happened." This happened. and I want to say this right now because a lot of people are giving unnecessary hate to Win Lee as well because she took the role back or whatever. I mean, first of all, I don't think a legacy character should have to necessarily step down from a role. Um, but, you know, if the casting director or them want to go in a different direction, that's completely up to them. But they should have been more transparent with uh, Win Lee on that because I have seen an interview that Win Lee did like two months ago talking about how she wanted to come back as the character. And she had been talking to somebody involved because she obviously had done some roles for Thousand Year Blood War where she came back for some other characters. But she really wanted to know about Yodoichi. And I'm going to show you guys this interview because, again, this was from two uh, months ago of this year. Okay, so this is recent. This is before Yodoichi came back. So I want to show you guys this. I'm just going to kind of pull this up right here just to make it easier for me. So I hope you guys can hear this. So here, here's Wen Lee doing this interview. So here's this thing right here. I want to talk about it. I'll link this in the description, by the way. She's not talking about how she's not a part of it. Manoli, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do you see what she's saying? Or she's like, she's basically telling the people that are doing at least from this interview uh from two months ago she's literally telling this interviewer that like she talked to whoever is directing her or whatever for the character she came back for um uh, what about yodoichi that's the one i'm really waiting 
She's like, that's the one I'm really wanting to wait for. And she's crossing her fingers. But the fans have been telling me, based on the manga, she has a very big part of the final story arc. So I'm looking forward to that. And I know nothing about it. And this is what she's saying. And I'm like, completely professional. But I mean, like, you know. Does she ever come back in cat? Okay, we're not going to talk because that's just talking about the cat form thing but you get the point i'll send the link i'll put the link in the description for anybody who wants to uh who wants to uh watch the rest of that interview but i just wanted to kind of get to that point because when lee clearly didn't know what was going on like because if if it's true that she was talking to whoever was directing her from the other character or whatever, you know, that she was doing. Obviously, she was asking about Yoroichi, and from what I'm hearing, it seems like they really didn't communicate with her that she was going to be returning or not returning. Um, So, (sighs) this whole thing is a mess. And, again, this, this... People need to n- not go after the actors for this. This is this was purely Viz Media. I don't know why why this happened. I don't know what the I, I can't understand it. Um, and even now, talking about it, like I said, I'm happy that when Lee came back, but I mean, it's not really the way it should have been handled at all. This was an absolute lose-lose situation. And uh, it's just really bad all around. It, it's not look, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good anywhere uh, that they did this. And it's really going to, um, I think, really hurt um, what's going on now with the Bleach. Because no one's talking about the actual episode of Bleach. No one's really talking about the quality of the episode now. People are just talking about this, about Yoruichi and the casting and all this. And I, I, I just don't like that. I don't like that this is what we're talking about because this isn't what we should be talking about when it comes to Bleach. Um, so it's very, very disappointing Again, when I do get to uh, around to watching the episode, the Bleach episode, um, the new Bleach episode, uh, I will do a review. I'll try to not talk about specifically the voice acting of this um, because that's what the point of this video was for, was to kind of just talk about this specifically on a uh, separate thing. But, yeah... I am not happy with what happened here. I, I do not like it uh, one bit. It, it's a sour taste, you know, that they, you know, that Viz or whoever decided it. I, I, I'm assuming it was Viz higher ups because I, I can't feel like, you know, it would have been anybody that that's directly doing the project right now. But I feel like Viz decided, like, I feel like this was a higher-up decision, that this was way more above the head of um, the people that were directly doing this dub. Because that's the only thing that makes sense, that they would make such a dramatic change within a week. Because this is a simul-dub project. So, you know, it's a weekly dub. So... I feel like there would have been more, there there would have had to have been something dramatic that happened for them to go back. So, um, yeah, not happy all around. Um, you know, I'm glad um, Winley's back. As Yoriichi, but again, I'm I'm really really mad about how this was handled, and uh, and I don't like someone losing their job for bullshit, in my opinion. Um, that was uh, Viz Media's fault. 
Viz Media is never going to come out and say anything about it. It's, you know, the voice actors are, are the ones that are saying it. And I don't think that's fair at all. Um, you know, so that's my take. I try to be as professional as I could with this video. So I hope this was okay at how I format because this is very a sensitive, I think, topic. Um, but yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, flick this for reviews. Um, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm out. Uh, dub video for the review will be out when I can get a chance to watch it. So look out for that. Um, I'm the S. Ultimate Goku. I'm out of here. Peace.